Hey guys, what's up? My name is Lee and I'd like to welcome you to this update video on the CAD configurator. So in this video, um, I'm just going to show uh, just a few updates. There's nothing too much here. And um, but the main point of this is um, I'm also going to release the files in which I have uh, created so far. Now, uh, first thing you can see is that the quality of um, the rendering and the and the lighting is uh, much better. I've uh, worked a little bit on uh, the lighting and uh, I need some better shadowing, ambient occlusion, and so on and so forth. Now, the most important thing that I have uh, made a change here is that this car is now lo no longer separated into multiple blueprints. If I go to the blueprint, you can see that now it is just under one folder called Jaguar. And uh, under the Jaguar, we can see that all those uh, blueprints have now been consolidated into one. Now, looking on the inside of this car, you can also see that I have started to uh, create some of the uh, interior here. Now, um, it is worth noting that under my models, if I jump over to the uh, models folder here, you see that I have an interior dash and this actually includes the entirety of uh, the interior. And basically this is a placeholder mesh. Um, so in the actual compiled development, um, uh, executable you're going to see that this mesh is on the inside so when the player is sat at the uh, steering wheel here they're going to be able to look around and they're going to see this old mesh um, because I, I have not yet finished um, completing and modeling those pieces but as I said that's something that's going to uh, come in the future um, so as well as that I have also under the widgets added additional colors to the blueprints so you can see here that now we can change the paint color to a variety of different colors here. So we can choose yellow, and red, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the same is for the rims. We can change the color on the rims. We can still also change the uh, spiral, whether or not it is uh, visible or not visible. And uh, as I said, once we're inside the uh, interior here of the vehicle, um, inside the demo, we can actually look around and, and see what's going on here. So. I just want to point out that those are the, the differences here inside this build, uh, inside this inside Unreal. And so when you open up Unreal, it might be slightly different to the to the actual compiled development build. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the development build here. I'm going to remain quiet because actually the audio there's actually audio in the background here. So I'm just going to play this uh, compiled version and let you see what happens. And I'll see you after that. I'd say we can press the tab key here and this will bring up the uh, menu. So as you can see in that demo, um, I have the old template uh, interior, as I as I said, you can see we, I've updated the amount of clothes in which can be used in here. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, continuing to um, add the interior into the car here so we get a much, um, a much, better, uh, a much better experience. And then after that, I'm probably going to work on adding some animations. And this is the reason why I'm building the interior separately, um, as opposed to one block is because I would like the ability to open and close this door 
Um, and once that door is uh, once that door has the ability to be open and closed, we need to have uh, separate pieces here. So, so yeah. So what I'm going to do, as I said, is I'm going to release um, this uh, this project so far. It is not the, the complete one. I hope to continue to build on this. Um, but um, if you would like to use this project, uh, please feel free to use it in any way you want. Feel free to distribute it, to download it. Um, you have the permission to modify it, change it any way you want. And if you would like to show me anything that you have done um, to the to this project, or anything you've added, then please, again, feel free to let me know. Um, but uh, until then, I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to check the description with the links to where you can download the project files. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, bye-bye for now.